Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have a bookshelf tour for y'all. If you haven't seen some of my recent videos, I got new bookshelves. <laughs> these are the Billy bookcases from Ikea, and I've been wanting these bookshelves for years. If you've seen my videos throughout the years, the past six years I've been on booktube, they have always been mix-matched bookcases. They never look the same ever. And um, that's because my dad has either made them or I got them for pretty cheap at Marshalls or Target or something. And yeah, they never really matched. And I love the look of matching bookcases. I just do the white matching bookcases. I love the look of it and I've always wanted it. So here they are. Um, I actually did a bookshelf tour earlier this year and I apologize for getting two in one year. I definitely changed some things around in my bookshelves that is way different than my previous one. So I'm excited to share what I did behind me. This video might be a little chaotic um, and a little shaky because if you don't know, I have some mobility issues and um, I don't know how we're gonna get to the tip top shelves and even the bottom ones sometimes. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, but without further ado, I'm gonna show you my bookshelf. And then also I forgot to mention, I'm gonna be showing you my um, historical bookshelves and then I also have a whole shelf for young adult books. So without further ado, here are all my books. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with this shelf, the one on the right for y'all. We're gonna be going up and we're gonna be going like in sections if that makes sense. We're gonna be going top, then second section, and then third section. Okay, that's my plan for this. <laughs> so up here, we just have some of my Barnes and Noble classics that I love. And yeah, there's a cutout A for Avery. <laughs> I really wanted to face out a lot of books in um, these shelves because I love the look of face out books. And so here I decided to highlight Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This is like a nod to when I was a kid because my mom painted an Alice in Wonderland nursery for me. So I thought that was very fitting. And then when we pan over to the middle section, we have some more classics that I love. Little Women is faced out because that's like, might be my favorite classic of all time. I don't know, I have a hard time choosing. Um, and here are just some other classics that I love. And then those are just two um, books that I loved as a kid um, from the English Roses series. And then a little, little, little stuffed animal my sister got me. And then this wood piece right here, it's a piece of, like it looks like just a piece of bark, but um, if you can see from the side, it's actually a book my dad made. He's, he like carves wood. And so he carved me a book. And then if we pan over to this section, we have even more classics. These are some more Barnes and Noble editions, classic edition that I love. A cut out heart book that I got and just a bunch of older books that I loved growing up or still love. So yeah, and then a few more Barnes and Noble classics are there too. This is the next shelf here. We're starting on the right side and I'm gonna zoom in in a second, but this is just a shelf of books I have not read yet, um, <laughs> which is hard for me because I don't really normally keep books I have not read with books that I have read. And so it's like kind of bugging me, but I like the look of it, so. So here are the books that I have not read, just some of them. I have no real like purpose of grouping these together other than these are tall. <laughs> um, so these are two fan fiction editions. My lovely friend Mel from Mel Bynes Fix on Instagram, she made it for me. This is a Hermione and um, Cedric fan fiction. Um, these are just some taller books that I love. <laughs> if you know who this is by, you know who this is by. <laughs> and then Outlander, I still haven't read it yet. I know it's very intimidating. And then this book by Francine Rivers, I, I, I loved Redeeming Love by her. So and then these are just a bunch of other um, contemporary ones that I have not read yet. This stack, unfortunately, is like not like the highest on my TBR. I don't know why. I just like I grouped them like that. And this other section, my dad <laughs> made this for me too. It's supposed to look like, oh, if I picked it up, it's supposed to look like a book. Also, I thought that was really cute. He made that for me, so I thought I'd highlight that. I'm trying to fill up shelf space too, y'all. Like my shelves are not completely full yet. <laughs> and then this is Sam. Um, my dad, I think, won this in a claw machine when I was like a baby, baby, baby. And um, throughout the years, my dogs have gotten it and ripped out its eyes and his nose. Um, I think my grandma had to sew this nose on with the mouth um, and he just has no eyes. So 
that is Sam for you. <laughs> then if we pan over to the middle, we just have one book. This is What Doesn't Kill You by Tessa Miller. This is one of my favorite books of the year. I love this book and I thought I would highlight it because it is beautiful. Anyway, off to our next shelf here. From this on, these are all like taller historicals, if that makes sense. These are not mass market ones. Um, I've only read from this section this book right here, but I really want to keep series together, so I thought I'd just group these. Um, so these are all like historical romances that are taller than the mass market paperback that um, I have not read yet, except for this singular book. But um, here are some Scarlet Scott books and this one by Cat Sebastian just looks so good. These are Alyssa Cole books that I found at a used bookstore that are just little novellas. And I just love this series also by Elisa Braden. I haven't read this one, but I have read this one. And these covers are stunning. And then this stack right here are also books I haven't read yet, except for this book, Jock Row by Sarah Nye. Um, and this is another case of I wanted to keep the books together. So I just thought I would group them like that because I haven't read the majority of the books here. These are the beautiful Hello Lovely box editions that I got that are just stunning. And then this is a recent book that I got from my lovely friend Madison and then some Helena Hunting books. Then the topic up here is a book I got recently at Wanderlust by Nikki Ash and it's signed by her. Um, and then this is just a jar full of books I haven't read yet. This is technically my TBR jar. However, uh, this was filled like two years ago, I think. And I think I unhauled a lot of these books. So I'm gonna have to refill that soon. Okay, we're off to this shelf again on this side. You're gonna tell this shelf is very bare. Um, I'm trying to find a way to fill shelf space. So this is my, my best bet. <laughs> this is just literally a box that I used to keep like historicals in. I have way more historicals than are just what's in this box. And then this is an empty jar I don't know what to do with. So and then this is the what's it called? I forget the name of this series. Oop. It's the Hidden Legacy. Hidden Legacy series by Alona Andrews. I think I'm only missing the last book in this series that just came out. But I've never read these, but I own the entire series because I've heard amazing things about it. And I think they take place in Houston and I grew up in Houston. So I was like, okay then. So I, I own all these books, but I haven't read them yet. But the shelf is very bare, but I have realized through taking some Instagram pictures that I kind of like having a bare shelf for me to use for pictures. Like I can rearrange the shelf however I want, add, take out books, and it won't mess up any of my other shelves to take pictures on. So I do like that. And then when we pan over here to the middle, we have my Chloe Lisa shelf. These are all of the books that I own by her. These are all of the books in the Bergman Brothers series that are currently out, one through five. I love these books so much, I just had to highlight them. And then this is her newest release, Two Wrongs Make a Right. I am going to be starting this very soon for Brie and I's book club. If this video comes out before the 16th, or 17th, sorry, of December, that live show will be very soon. If not, that's already up on Brie's channel where we talk about this book. And then here is this cup that I just love. Earlier this year, I went on the Atlanta booktuber trip and this was a souvenir that Tori made all of us with all of our channel names and our names here. Isn't that cute? And then there's a flower design on the other side. I did drink out of this for a while, but I got scared that some of this part was starting to peel off and I just didn't want to ruin it. And so it's kind of like a staple on my shelf now. <laughs> then if we pan over here, these are some more books that I mostly have not read yet. The only book that I have read is this book here. Oops, this is Shattered Sea by Katherine Cowles. She so graciously sent this book my way um, and it's signed too. Um, so she was so sweet to send this. Um, but this was our Chronically Courageous book club for our last pick. Um, and I just didn't find shelf space for it on the other shelves and you'll see why. So it's just gonna be sitting up here for now. I don't like how it's sitting with all the books I haven't read yet, but oh well. So these are romances that I own physically that are kind of on the top of my TBR compared to the other shelves that I've shown you full of books I haven't read yet. I grouped them by height, honestly, and author. Um, so yeah, these are two of the Hello Lovely Box books that I got for the Tijan Box, Emma Castle, and a few of these were sent to me like Liar was sent to me very kindly of a Valentine BR. Um, I got this one in Atlanta, Real by Kennedy Ryan. I have to read this one very soon. And then I got all of these Avery Kingston books at the Wanderlust signing. And then this one was so cool. I got to meet the author at like a very small, like 
monthly pop-up thing that happened in a town next to mine so that was so cool but i got to meet her these are just some other books that are at the top of my tbr um so yeah here is like some mariana zapata this book is huge carrie sent that to me um and then i found this one at a store for like only five bucks can you believe that um but that needs to be read very soon um and then this one looks so good i think this one has depression wrap but look how cute that looks anyway <laughs> i'm like fangirling over the books that i own um but yeah i've had a bunch of these on my tbr for a while i'm not gonna lie but i grouped these based off of height this is a book that a subscriber of mine who's also an author uh wrote this is katie l tyler this just looks so cute um i read like a chapter of it but then it I, i'm not in the mood to read physically right now i'm just not and so um i'm gonna put this aside for another time i'm in the mood to read physically um and then these are some more hello lovely box editions look how beautiful this one was sent by the author which is about like a dj not dj sorry radio host or something interesting and then i got this one at wanderlust too and so that's that shelf i have not read all of these but to one singular one which is shattered sea so um let me know which ones i should prioritize i'd love to know we're on the right side again and can you tell what this shelf is this is my sci-fi alien romance shelf that i am in love with <laughs> the majority of course is ruby dixon if you couldn't tell um this off the side i just mentioned this is my um little box tub container of um bookmarks that are so cute like this one was made for me look at that ipb this one's from the book i just showed you almost maybe like i just have so many oh i made this one whoa yeah that one's on my etsy <laughs> um i did not mean to pull that one out um but yeah i just love collecting like bookmarks there's a coho one um i think i made this one in high school very lame <laughs> like this one's from a bookstore nearby like i love collecting bookmarks like look how cute this one is and i actually made this at a pottery place so you can do that too it's just like a bucket you know and i painted it to look kind of like books but kind of not so and this was, the peeling was not good anyway it serves its purpose anyway <laughs> we're gonna go into these books so i of course grouped all of ruby's books together but these are other sci-fi ones and you might see later on like i haven't read some of these books in the later shelves because i wanted to group author books together like i really just wanted to do that even if i haven't read them or not um so i haven't read this one this is actually one of katie roberts first books ever and it's a sci-fi romance can you believe that i found this at a used bookstore i saw katie roberts name and i was like what the heck and so i just like this looks good like i need to read this i think she's written like two books in this series like it's one of her first books ever these are my tiffany roberts books i just got these in the mail from some lovely friends of mine love those oh this is one of my favorites of the year love it captive of the horde king that is such a good alien romance and then here we have all of my ruby books that i own i have i have read way more books than this but her books can get pretty pricey so um i like save up to buy some of her books and a lot of these were actually very kindly gifted to me which is so nice so these three books are some of her newer ones so like the ones with the redone covers i don't own book four and five and i think those are out already but yeah i own a bunch of the older covers i'm trying to find the old versions of these two so if you have a version of a very alien and a barbarian lover in the old versions like this dm me i will pay for them um <laughs> but i have starting for book four so this is book four barbarian mine in the old version and then we go on and then i don't know why but they get shorter so this is still in the ipb series this is book seven so and then we keep going this is my favorite in the series so good beck and ellie forever this is a christmas one this is the first book in the Ice Home series. This is one of her dragon books. Look at that. And then I'm obviously showing off When She Belongs to Ruby Dixon. This is uh, a part of her Risdiverse series. You don't need to read them in order. If you want to read this book out of order, DM me and I can tell you like the background information you need to know because more people need to read this book because it's so good. Um, this is like a grumpy sunshine alien romance that is fantastic, but it is a chunker, so be aware. Um, and then these are just some of her novellas. I love this one. Whoop. I love this one. This is The King Spinster Bride, one of my favorite novellas ever. And then we have the Half Orcs Maiden Bride, and then two other ones that I love. I just love this shelf. I never had enough room to just have like a sci fi shelf, so I'm so excited 
to have this. And then if we pan over to the center, look at this. Look how freaking stunning this is, okay? This is my Faye Crate uh, exclusive edition of Radiance, my favorite romance book ever. Beautiful, stunning. It came in this box. This is just here to like save up some space to like show, to make it think I have more Grace Draven books when I actually don't, <laughs> and to fill up this shelf. I plan to get more when going into Book Bonanza because she's gonna be there and I'm so excited. Anyway, um, we have the beautiful edition of the second book, Eidolon. Like, look at that, stunning. Um, I don't want this to fall, don't fall. <laughs> and then these are my original versions of Radiance. Oop, that's not it. This is it, Radiance. Look at the difference. And then Eidolon is there too. This is Master of Crows, one of my other favorites from her. And then another favorite, obviously, is Phoenix Unbound. This is like a witch romance. It's so good. That's that shelf. I will love it being front and center because that cover is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on to this shelf. This is definitely my indie romance shelf that's mostly filled with books that I've read and loved. We're gonna start on this side. I have read the majority of these books, by the way. There are some I have not read, so I'll tell you about those. I have read this one. This is a Me Bay by Tilly Cole. I was just sent this book by a friend. Thank you so much. These are two Pam Godwin books that I own that I have not read yet. Funnily enough, I've never read a Pam Godwin, so please bully me to read these. Um, look at how stunning this cover is, by the way. Like, just so gorgeous. Next, I have my two editions of Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. This is the Hello Lovely box edition that is just so cool. And this is obviously the regular edition that you could just get. Um, next is my Sophie Lark stack. I've read way more Sophie Larks, but again, her books can be pricey because they are indie. So um, I was very graciously sent by Sophie's team this mug. Look at how cute. I love it. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. And then this is just a stack of her books. We have Ivan and then the books in the Brutal Birthright series that I own. I got to meet her in Waterlust this year and I got this one there and it is signed. I just wanted to show it off. Let me see what page she decided to sign on. I'm having difficulty. Okay, I found it. This is it. <laughs> this is for Avery. Come get lost in Miko's mansion. Look at that. Love it. Next to it, I have my Maggie Cole collection. Maggie Cole sent me these books. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. Like, I, oh, this book is in the wrong spot. This book's supposed to be flipped with this. Anyway, this is her um, Mafia Wars series, and then this is a spinoff, a start to the spinoff series, but she so kindly sent these books to me. That was so sweet, but this is a Mafia romance series that I just love. Look at that. Look at these men, by the way. Like, oh my word. Gorgeous. I have read this one, and I haven't read these other three. I really want to read this series, but they are a little thicker, and I prefer audiobooks, so um, we're going to see when I can get to these. But thank you so much, Maggie, for sending these books my way. Next are these two that I've read. Birthday Girl, obviously, and Love in the Wild is a Tarzan retelling. This is a short novella by Laura Kay. I've heard no one else talk about. My disability rep, she's an amputee and a war veteran, and they go to a certain club, like... It's fine. Here's a Britney Cherry book that I love. Just Transcendence that I love too. Like I love all of these, okay? Um, if you couldn't tell. And this is my beloved Full Tilt of by Emma Scott. Oh, I haven't read this one. This is, the first book is Rustic Hearts by Amber Kelly. Look at that cover. Oh my God. And I want to give away from her. And I won this book in the series. I don't know what number it is, but um, I won it. So I have it. So I'm keeping them together. That's that shelf all done. I love the look of it so good we're back to this right shelf again this is my fantasy romance shelf like look at how beautiful this shelf is y'all i am obsessed with it so i think i want to start with the ones on the sides here so my mass markets this is my cl wilson little stack so first is the winter king i love this romance so much it's so good don't let the cover oh don't let the cover deter you like this book is so good some people don't like the cover i love the cover i think it's classic you know um and then these are the first three books in her taryn soul series i've read these two i haven't read this one yet i'm about to start this one soon these romances are so good if you love fantasy romance and you have not read these books yet you're missing out honestly because these are Fantastic. C.L. Wilson is amazing. Then on this side, we have Mila Vane books and Amanda Boucher books. So this is um, A Heart of Blood and Ashes, an amazing fantasy romance as well. I'm waiting for the third book to come out next year in this series. So I've read these books and then this is Amanda Boucher's uh, Fire and Blood. I think that's what it's called. What is it called? I forget the series name. Sorry, dudes. 
you're gonna be falling there. This is her, oh, it's the Kingmaker Chronicles, there we go. So this one is so good. Some people might not think this is a romance based on the cover, but it is, and this romance is epic. It spans all three books, and I just read the fourth book in the series, and so I need to get that. But they just came out with the new covers, too, and they look really pretty. And so this little section is my fantasy romances that are not mass market paperback, and I haven't read some of these also. This is the um, new series by K.A. Tucker. She's written, I have read this one. I'm about to start this one, a buddy read this month with Tori. This is the second book and this series is so fun. Sorry, I need to like push these back in. Um, Jamie Schlosser wrote this one. I love this fantasy romance novella. I have not read this yet. Okay. Don't, don't be mad at me. I haven't read this yet. And I'm nervous too, honestly. I kind of want to wait till the series is out before I read that, honestly. Um, <laughs> These are my Emma Ham books. I love Emma Ham. These two are so good. They are Beauty and the Beast retelling books about the same couple. Like, they're so pretty. And then this one is a later book in that world. And it's a Little Mermaid retelling. Look at that. Whoever her artist is for her covers is so talented. Um, this is one I got for my birthday earlier this year with The Bridge Kingdom. I haven't read this yet, but I've heard good things. These uh, three I have not read yet. This one was given to me by a subscriber who's also an author, E.C. Roderick. This one looks so good. I think it's like a time travel-y one. So cool. And then these two are from Lily Archer. I got these books at Wanderlust. And she gave this one to me for free for being like a book reviewer. So cool. This one is like a never land like a peter pan retelling these two are the last two books in lisa kessler's uh moon series that i love they're like panther shifter werewolf shifter faded mate romances that are so good and then i haven't read this one yet but i've heard really good things so look at that look at how gorgeous Ooh, got to scoot that in <laughs> look at how gorgeous these books are together like that shelf is stunning i will not touch it <laughs> until i get a new Finish a romance book, obviously. And then when we pan over, we have these four beautiful books. So Brittany Cherry was so gracious and sent these books my way. Um, she is so sweet, y'all. I love her. And if you can tell, these books are out of order. Okay, normally this one's first, second, third, fourth. However, I wanted my favorite one to be up front. So this is book three. I kind of did it in the order of my favorites in the series. So it goes in order. So favorite, second favorite, third favorite, fourth favorite, you know? It's a favorite, it's like, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so um, this one is a Silent Waters. I love it. So each of these are exclusive editions, if you couldn't tell. And this is the Element series by Rainy Cherry. I wanted to highlight these because they are just beautiful and they needed their own little shelf cube thing. <laughs> then we're going to pan over to this shelf. Look at that. Stunning. I love it. These are also romances where I've read the majority of these books, but look at how gorgeous they look together. So from this side, we have the Salacious Players Club books by uh, Sarah Kate, and I got ooh, two of these books as gifts, but then I got the other two at Wanderlust. But like, look at Sarah Kate's signature ooh, on these. She has like a stamp. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? I saw it in Wanderlust and she stamps all of the books. So I have like an exclusive stamp in there. That's so cool. And so I have all four books in this series, the man cover ones. I know they're coming out with new covers, um, but I have all of like the man cover ones and I have to still read these three. I want all the books to be together though. So that's why they're all together on the shelf. Then I have these three books. I have read them. These are the Perfectly Imperfect series by Neva Altaj. Um, I read all all of the books. I'm thankfully on her ARC team, so I get all of them on ebook. And then all of these were so graciously gifted to me by my friends. Y'all are amazing. And so these are three books in her Mafia Romance series. This one is my favorite. That one in book five. I love book five. Um, but yeah, I own the first three and they're just so good. Speaking of favorites, the Royally series by Emma Chase. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know about these books, okay? These are royalty romance books that are just to die for. This one is part as well. This is a little novella that you should read after. Um, but look at how stunning these are. This one's my favorite, one of my favorite romance books of all time. Like, look at that. Oh, I love this. These are just some other favorite ones that I love. Look at this cover that I love. Look at Rafe. Oh my gosh, Caitlin got me this book. Oh, I love that. So we have some Mia Sheridan. And then we also have these two books. I loved these so much. And then we have my uh, Talia Hibbert section with Chloe Brown front and center. I freaking love this book so much. Um, we have her Brown Sisters series and then a little novella and then that kind of guy, which has pots rep that I just, I loved. So this section, 
is stunning to me. I love it. We're on the shelf again, and if we go down, we have a whole entire self shelf for just Sarah J. Mass, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> Even her Catwoman book is there. <laughs> so I know it might bother some people that these aren't like all the same height. I don't really care at this point. They're my Throne of Glass books, and I don't really care for the new editions that they're coming out with, like the new covers. So I'm keeping these. I do wish kind of that I had hard covers of all of these, but it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. Um, so these are all for Throne of Glass books. I also own the, um, that's too hard to take out, the collector's edition of Throne of Glass and the collector's edition of A Court of Thrones and Roses that are stunning. I do have the hardcover of book one. My lovely friend Hannah Grace is borrowing it. And so I will get it back whenever she finishes it. I'm not hard about her for returning that. She could take her time for reading that. I do own the collector's edition of the first one, so it's fine. I just want to know I'm missing. I just want to let y'all know that I'm missing a book for my collection. So that's going to go in this little space whenever I get it. But I do have the old original covers of all of these with like favorite on the front. Um, then, of course, there's a Court of Silver Flames. And then look at this candle. It's a man candle. It's a restand candle. It is so good. This has been <laughs> dirty, if you're going to tell. I'm so sorry. That was gross. Um, and then we have her Christmas City books on this side and her Catwoman book, which is the only book by her that I've never read. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to read it, but we'll see. Then if we pan over, we just have these beautiful editions by um, Jane Austen. They are stunning. I love them so much. I've read half of these books, I want to say. I've not read Mansfield Park or Persuasion or Northanger Abbey, but I've read all the other ones. Oh, I haven't read this, but I don't think this is like an actual book. I think there's just a collection of stories that she wrote, if that makes sense. I don't know. Let me know. But my aunt got me this box set and it is stunning. Like, I, I can't take the books out without two hands, like with one hand. So um, you're just going to take my word for it that all these are stunning. Then we're going to pan over to this show. These are also romances for the majority that I have read, or I just wanted to group them by author. Oh, we have a dog coming. Hello. <laughs> You wanted to be in the video? Yes, hello, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki, <laughs> can I finish, please? I'm almost done. Can I finish? Okay. You might have a dog tail coming in and out of here. We'll see. Um, but yeah, these are the majority of books that I have read. I've read all of these. I have not read this one by Kate A. Tucker. Um, I just wanted to group it with The Simple Wild. Oh, that's good in there. These books are shoved in there. Oops. Um, these are the this series by Tessa Bailey. Um, I forget the name of the series. What's it called? I don't know. Um, oh, you're back. Hello. <laughs> Can I finish, please? I'm almost done. Then these are some books that I uh, read when I first got into the romance genre. So like The Edge of Never, The Hating Game, Wait For You. And these are some recent favorites. I haven't read this one yet by Alicia Rye, but I really wanted to group her books together because I do love these three. These are so underrated. They're so diverse and so fun and so underrated. Like these three right here this trilogy so good and then this series by Lisa cole i haven't read yet except for book one but i really wanted to group them together i can't accept i can't wait to read this one because this one has a wheelchair user in it and i heard it's so good and i do love carbastone these books are so good and so i had to put them on the shelf and then these ones are ones that i have not read yet um that are just mass market paperbacks i haven't had a chance to read katniss <laughs> she wants to check out my books Okay, bye, hon. <laughs> so this is my Cressley Cole and J.R. Ward shelf, if you couldn't tell, like my paranormal romance shelf. So from here on is all of J.R. Ward's books. I've read all of these books, I think, except for this collection of short stories. Like I've read all of these. Um, I love J.R. Ward so much. Like this is her Black Dagger Brotherhood series and her like spinoff one. Um, and these are all in order that you should read them. This one is my favorite in the series and I found a hardcover version and look how beautiful it is. <gasps> Lovermine is, um, what's her name? Is it Styx, Zex, Zex and um, John Matthews book. It's so good. And then these are the few books that I've been able to find at my half price books that are in the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole. So the first one being A Hunger Like No Other. These are so good, y'all. These are paranormal romance books that I just love and I've read all of the books in the series. I was like, almost 20, but I haven't found all of them at half price books. And I feel like I need to just find them all at half price books. So yeah. <laughs> then if we pan over, we have this square. This is my Twilight Square and there are books behind these books, honestly. <laughs> um, and obviously this one is not a Twilight book. This is The Host. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I love it to death. Oh, 
but um, I couldn't fit it anywhere else besides the Twilight Square, even though it's not Twilight. So I'll put that there for now. <laughs> these are all of my Twilight books. There are some in the back if you can't tell. And some of these are some of my favorite books I've ever been able to collect. So like these are, if you can see, like they match up. These are the graphic novels of the first book in the series, Twilight. And they only made ones for the first book and then they made one for the second book but like no one has been able to find it i can't find the one for the second book y'all um for new moon but i own all of the paperbacks that i read in middle school and then midnight sun obviously this is the illustrator's guide that's so cool has so many illustrations and then this one is a find that i am like so proud of this is my the twilight book that i was able to find a half price books give me a second this is like a one-handed job <laughs> so it came like this look at the cover like it's just so weird looking right but then when you open it up there's a bookmark in the book also look at that can you believe that like and it also has deckled edges like oh my word this is one of my most prized possessions i'm gonna go put it back but oh if you can see there's like other editions like look there's no <laughs> jacob but i just i i'm not gonna lie i'm a twilight i'm a twi hard okay i'm a twilight lover and so I had to have a whole section for it. This is the series that got me into like loving romance books. So I need to give it the credit, okay? And then if we pan over to this last shelf here, these are all books that I have read the majority of. And yeah, they're more of the traditionally published romances. So we have like two Emily Henry books. These are all Christina Lauren books going up to this point. We have her Beautiful Bastard series and then her newer there. Whoa, why did I say her? It's an author duo, y'all. I am so sorry. Christina Lauren is an author duo. Um, <laughs> so their books up to here and um, yeah, more of their uh, traditionally published like um, closed door stuff is over here. Um, my favorite from them might be this book. I loved it, but I also loved Rumi's. That one was so good. And then from here on is my Colleen Hoover collection. I have read a lot of Colleen Hoover. I haven't read a few of these yet. Like I haven't read Without Merit, uh, Regretting You, or Heart Bones yet. So the, or Ugly Love, yeah, I haven't read this yet. Sorry, y'all, I know people love that. And then this last group of books are my Erin Watt books, a part of the like Paper Princess trilogy. I read those years ago, so. um. I had to have them on my shelves. So those are my shelves over here. These are what I like to call my romance shelves. So yeah, look at how beautiful. I'm in love with it. I could just stare at it all day long. So I'm not gonna show you my mass market paperback historical shelf and my YA shelf really quick. Okay, so this is my historical shelf featuring Kiki or Kenneth. <laughs> and yeah, this, this is, oh my gosh. Can you believe like I just had like one shelf, like a cart with historicals if you would have watched my historical like book tour that I had earlier this year like and look how many there are can you believe that like all of these are double stacked and I even have more room for more because I know I'm gonna get more so um basically these are all in alphabetical order by author um some of them may be mixed up when it comes to series order um, but they're all in alphabetical order when it comes to authors. So this is like A and B and it goes in the back too. So once this ends, it jumps to the back. So like there's Maya Banks books, Kate Bateman books, and then it'll jump up here to Kerrigan Byrne, then goes to Tessa Dare in the back and then it'll jump like this. So I just love this system too, because I used to like stack my historical romances, like horizontally and it was a pain to like get them out of my shelves for videos and now I can just like run up and like go back here and like grab one that I need that I know that's there you know and like it goes all the way down to here to the W's um and there's an outlet back there for my lights so um but I just love this system and I love so many of these books. Like, look, my Johanna Lindsay collection has a whole entire like section and look this is one of my most prized possessions. Look at that look at that <laughs> anyway i love so many of these like step backs like look at that uh i could do like a whole like step back video like uh i just love so many of these books these covers are like stunning i love it so this is my historical shelf and also i forgot to show the top very boring but <laughs> a printer it's the only place a printer would fit <laughs> and um yeah candle my computer and everything 
This is actually cross stitch. Isn't that so cute? My grandma got me that for like Christmas one year or something. Then these are historicals that I don't know what to do with yet that don't really fit on the other shelf and don't really fit on here. So like giant versions, you know, like also if you're Sully. Um, but look at this Kathleen Woodowis I found. Kathleen Woodowis. Whoa, that almost fell. <laughs> but that has a very cool step back. And then um, isn't this, I found this at Half Price Books. Isn't that so cool? It's a Tessa Dare little novella, but I couldn't, I'm not gonna put that with all my Tessa Dare books because it is gonna look funky. It will not look good in my in my brain to look at that. So it's gonna sit here for now. I don't know where to put those books. So, and then this is just a really cute thing my, my friend made for me, my best friend got for me. So I love it. And Katniss is kicking at the door to leave. So give me a second. <laughs> but um, this is my little historical shelf. And then it's right next to my big bookcases so it's so so nice to have right there okay y'all sorry for the bad lighting over here it's just make do with it i i can't get a light over here there's not an available plug so um this is really bad lighting but this is my ya shelf <laughs> so these are favorites at the top that i have read um that i love oh and there's my bible i've been looking for that it's right there <laughs> and this isn't ya Oh my gosh, that's not why I, I need to move that. This is a like um, chronic illness book, uh, like an adult one. So um, these are just some of my favorites. Why is this not really something that I reach for anymore, but I do love these books. So I thought I would highlight them. They're double stacked and I'm not showing you the other side because um, I don't want to move it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and then there's some other favorites, more of the like sci-fi fantasy range. Um, like this series is one of my favorites of all time so good so good if you want to get into ya sci-fi that series is fantastic and then also i have some graphic novels over there too and just some other books in the back that i love like the illuminate files are all back there and then the bottom down here is the ya books that i have not read that i do want to read and then also there's just some great jay Kristoff books over there i didn't know where to put those are not ya um but yeah these are just ya books that i do want to read but they're not like on my priority TBR, if that makes sense, because YA just isn't generally on the top of my TBR. And they are double stacked back there. Um, and I owned way more YA books. I did some unhauling while, while organizing all this. And I own so many more YA books, but they're in a box under my bed for my future classroom if I end up teaching older grades one day. So um, these are ones that I definitely want to keep in my room, in my collection, though. Oh, and if you look to the side, this is a stack of books I don't know what to do with yet. I might unhaul them. I might keep them. I don't know what I'm doing with these. I think I might sell them. I don't, I don't know. We will see. But they're like, it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa at this point. Like, look at that. And that bag is like full. So. <laughs> well, there you have it. That was my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun putting these shelves together and organizing them. It was so fun. I loved it. Let me know down below if you have any opinions or thoughts on moving books or changing books. I'm always open to that. And yeah, let me know down below also which of these are your favorite books and from those TBR shelves, um, which ones should I pick up first? I'd love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the book stack emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.